100 jams where hit music lives. Got the boy Behemoth Dre in the mix right there with his new single, Back in Time. And boy, oh boy, for Chat Trap today, we definitely will be going back in time. In just a bit, I'll let you know what's happening with that. But it's 11.30, time to let you know what's going on today. And it seems as though a lot of your favorite artists who probably was in some uh, situations, court situations, or was locked up, finally are being released. Well, you know Kodak Black for one. Then right now, you got Barbie Shmurda, who's been locked up since 2014. If you don't know, it's because of his famous song, Hot Boy. Yeah, that song right there, he actually started calling too many names and saying who did what to who. So basically, he snitched on his whole crew in a song. That's something that you definitely do not want to do. But he will finally be released from prison tomorrow. And he did say once he's out, he wants to get back to his passion, which of course is music. And he'll devote most, if not all, of his time to creating music again. Now, looking at Mr. Trick Daddy's situation, he did take a Play, a plea deal in his Miami bus for cocaine possession and driving under the influence and now he's finally able to put the case behind him. Boy, that is a sticky situation. But moving on to more important news as to what's going on and this one was very unexpected, honestly, because yesterday made 56 years after Malcolm X was assassinated while giving a speech. And now some very shocking, some very unexpected news have came to light in reference to the 1965 death of Malcolm X. So Malcolm X's family members are demanding his murder case be reopened after claiming they now have a letter that ties the NYPD and FBI directly into his death. And they allegedly have a written letter by a former NYPD officer who confessed on his deathbed that he had been instructed by his bosses to get some of Malcolm X's security guards arrested in the days leading up to his assassination so the people who fatally shot Malcolm X could get inside much more easily armed. Isn't that completely just sad to hear? But I'm really hoping that they decide to reopen the case and definitely look into, you know, more of the situation and look into more of the evidence that they do have. Because this one is taking you back in time right there. That's 56 years ago. Can you imagine going back to 1965? Trying to dig up all that information. But yeah, they definitely got to clear things up right there. But that's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media, man. Jumping back into the mix. Got the baby right here with Blind. 